Members would have noticed that we had our longest dry spell, 149 years, last year. I think you will also be aware that this year we are also facing, not as severe as last year, but nevertheless drier weather than usual. The reason why we did not have to resort to water rationing last year, unlike some neighbouring uh, areas, is because of the many years of investment in water infrastructure, in particular our desalination plants and our water recycling ability. So that enabled us to tide through the situation last year. This year, in fact, our desalination and recycling plants are functioning at 70% capacity. And that's why if you jog around our reservoirs, the water level is not as low as it would be otherwise. If you want to see low water levels, uh, perhaps look at what, what the water levels are in golf courses in the natural ponds in those areas. That will give you an idea of the state that we're in. So Mr. Sia Kenpeng is right that we need to prepare for periods of drought and dry spell in the future. Uh, pursuant to this, I, we will build a third desalination plant in Tuas. We are also planning on additional desalination plants which will be sited in other parts of Singapore and we'll announce that later on. We recognise, however, that water infrastructure takes land and land is precious and we will therefore be exploring the possibility of building the water reclamation plant and new water factory in Kranji underground. This obviously will be more expensive so we have to carefully study the financial and technical aspects of doing so.